Hello there, sports fans. I'm Nicholas Blaskowski. It will likely go down as one of the best NCAA championship games in history. The free throw woes plaguing the Memphis Tigers for most of the season came again at exactly the wrong time. Kansas wins their first NCAA title in 20 years. In case you missed it now, let's go to the highlights. UNC head coach Roy Williams He's in attendance. He's wearing a Kansas shirt. First half, Derrick Rose gets the rebound, keeps it in, bounds, and chucks it out to Chris Douglas Roberts for the three. Memphis was in front. Mario Chalmers almost goes out of bounds on the baseline, but finds Sasha Khan for the slam, and Kansas takes the lead back. Memphis takes over in the second on this Rose three. Rose started doing work. This shot will make you jump out of your chair if you have a pulse. Fading away, Rose banks it. Kansas would find themselves down seven late in the game, but not so fast. Here's a three from Kansas. And in one shining moment, we knew that, that Mario Chalmers would hit the deep three for the tie. Memphis cannot believe it. Kansas would use that momentum in the overtime. They take care of business, and they're the ones cutting down the nets Monday night. Nick Laskowski for New Central 34 Sports. I'm outside Kelly Short Stadium. We're just about four hours before kickoff, and brrr, it's cold out here, but you're not going to want to miss this. Chippewas fans braved the cold, snowy night because they knew what was at stake. In these moments right before kickoff, anticipation that had been building for months was at its most intense. The scoreboard reminded the visitors from Muncie who was defending the conference title. Here come the Chippewas hoping to make their third straight trip to the MAC Championship at Ford Field. A CMU volleyball player gets MAC West Player of the Week this week while helping the Chippewas move into a first place tie in the MAC West Division. Chippewas freshman Caitlin Schultz was dominant in both the team's weekend victories, a 3-1 win over Toledo and a 3-0 sweep of Ball State. Schultz it's a frigid morning here on Black Lake in Sheboygan County where the 2008 Sturgeon season is officially underway. The Department of Natural Resources randomly selects ice fishermen to participate in the fishing. This year it is my turn to find out what all the excitement is all about. And we are back with Nick here. Well, another week, another Lions loss. What can you tell us? Well, the talk on sports shows today is actually about two big time acquisitions that were made with our pro sports teams. Uh Nick Blaskowski for New Central 34 Sports. After six straight appearances in the Eastern Conference Finals and only one NBA title to show for it, Pistons fans were expecting a change. What they didn't expect was for that change to come two games into a new season. AI is in the D while Mr. Big Shot is now Mr. Big Nugget. In a blockbuster trade, the Pistons send point guard Chauncey Billups and forward Antonio McDice to Denver for point guard Allen Iverson. Laskowski here from Kelly Short Stadium, where the performances of Nate Davis and Dan Lefevre were exactly as advertised. The Mac West title picture is a whole lot clearer. Here's how it went down. And round one of the Michigan High School Athletic Association football playoffs are over, and some mid-Michigan teams they're still putting on the pads. In Division Three, Mount Pleasant prepares to play East Grand Rapids on Friday, and in Division Four, Remus Chippewa Hills will host Kingsford Saturday. They beat my hometown, Sheboygan. I'm kind of disappointed about that. 